Hey, sorry, I had to end the previous video if you were watching it. Um, why if my dad called in and I had called him because my Kurt's been working. Um, he's worked two nights in a row all night and all day. And he is going on just a few hours of sleep and didn't really want to bother him, but I had like a concern about Paxton, which is my uh, youngest, if you didn't know. Um, but my my middle child, which it's really true what they say that your middle one is your wild child. Because my middle child hit the baby with a Paw Patrol toy, Rubble. And, um, sorry, I'm not good at multitasking. Um, but he hit him with the Paw Patrol toy and he hit him in his eye. And it seemed like he actually hit the eye itself. Hey, Tiffany. And when he threw the Paw Patrol toy, it uh, caused the baby's eye to be all bloodshot in the area that it hit. And it's all watery. He was crying hard. But now he's like, he seems okay, but his eye is very bloodshot. So I'm like super nervous. We don't go anywhere, like we don't go to the, to offices or even stores, anything. So I don't really want to have to go in, but obviously if I have to take him in to have it looked at, then I will. So we'll see. Um, so <laughs> my kid's telling me I'm rude because he's not allowed in here. Um, but to start this off, I put on the Ice Sherbert Primer from, was it Pretty Fresh? I'm trying to see. Oh, Pretty Filter. And it is silicone free and supposedly has a cooling effect. I will say it feels like a silicone product um, even though it's silicone free, like it has that texture. But the only thing I don't like about it, as I said in the video that's not on here, um, cause I just deleted it. It, uh, the just is the smell. I'm not sure how my skin will handle it. Like usually if I have a fragrance in something, my skin does not does not like it in the least. And then I put on my Moodstruck Unique Lid Primer just to give that time to set. And right now I'm just going in with my BB Cream from Unique in the shade Honey. Usually I use a brush, but I wanted to use my Beauty Blender from Hank and Henry because I'm trying to use different products. I do not have a different um, like a new foundation or anything to try. So I went with that and I don't have a new lid primer either. So I went with my regular, like my, my go-to. I will say we tried out, this is from BoxyCharm. We tried out these natural Lux and nature Lux and Willow reusable bamboo makeup remover. And these did not do anything. They didn't. Like, it was a joke. So, not a fan. Maybe they have better products somewhere else, or maybe somebody else likes them, but for me, it wasn't worth it. Um, I prefer my, like, unique makeup stick, or if you want to be cheap but efficient, my Equate makeup remover wipes. So, we are going to use the Natasha Denona palette that came in BoxyCharm. I'm going to kind of try and use the one that came in my Boxy Premium, which is this one. And the one that came in my regular base box, which is this one. This is, is it Jubilee? Yes, Jubilee and the Coral Palette. Um, so I'm going to try and use a lot of these like shimmery colors and do like a very like kind of out there color. I do have Shane Dawson's Root Beer uh, Lip Balm on. I have used it every single day since receiving it in my collection and I'm going to be 
honest, it is super hydrating. Feels super, super nice. Really, really like it. My lips have been super dry. I'm in Florida. They dry out like no other, but literally that is amazing. Hands down, one of the best like lip balms I have used. So let's get into this. And then I'm gonna try this uh, Dragon Lash Mascara. I have absolutely nothing on my lashes. Have not had mascara on since I did my last video. So they are completely, completely bare. So I am going to go in. Let's make it somewhat pink. I'm going to go in with this uh, Enigma. I don't like that the the names are on the back, um, but it is what it is. There's a good amount of like fallout in the pan, but it's not like so bad that you won't use it. And I'm okay if it has a lot of fallout, as long as it's not necessarily on my face and it has the color payoff, which I guess I should have tried to, uh, probably should have put my BB cream on after. If there are any products you would like to try, like drop a comment below, let me know something you'd like to see used. And I will try that out in one of my upcoming videos. I did go on, I'm not sure if they still have it, but I did go on to uh, Ofra Cosmetics website. And I went on there because I wanted their, I uh, can't remember the name of their highlighter, but it was like for Earth Day. They were, they have, uh, they launched a new highlighter and it's like this green color, but I think it's supposed to come off like as uh, just like a sheer highlighter when you put it on. Um, but it was, I think $35 and I wanted one of their... I wanted to try one of their lippies because I haven't tried like anything other than their lip gloss and they're all like combined face palette, whatever thing that came in one of my BoxyCharms or Ipsy or something. I think it was BoxyCharm. So I wanted to give that a try. And when I put the two things on there, I got a thing that said like, you know, you get a discount if you sign up with them. So I signed up with them. Obviously, it's no cost. You just put your email address in it, and it automatically popped up a code because normally it's like for your next one. It was like if you spend over $20, you get a free lip product. So I was like, oh, okay. So I used the code that they gave me for the lip product. And because I put the lippy and that highlighter in there, because my amount was like I think over $50, I got a free face palette or free eyeshadow palette. So with my code, I got the lipstick free and I got the eyeshadow palette free. And then all I had to pay for was the $35 for the highlighter. So I got a lippy, the eyeshadow palette and that new highlighter, which their highlighters are freaking gorgeous um, for $35 plus Florida tax and shipping was $6 and something. Altogether, it came to like 42 something, but that's a little over $10 per item if I break it down. So really really nice okay so I'm gonna go in we're gonna try something I'm not sure if I like how this looks but we're gonna try it anyway and I am going to use this yellow which is lemon cello Probably should have done this more as just an inner corner highlight. So let's try and get that right in that corner. And if I can't, I'm gonna use a brush, so that's okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna go in with Vintage Taupe. Which 
is this like really pretty blue I'm gonna kind of go over that yellow because I decided I don't like that yellow as much and then I'll gradually blend those together because they do it's almost like a mermaid color it's very pretty kids are in the loft playing and one is napping which is why it sounds so loud in here because literally the loft is like right outside my bedroom no he's pretending because literally there's a monitor right here and i can see what they're doing And my husband's right out there. All right, so we are then going to get in. I just want to try this. This is Avalon. Avalon? That is super shiny. Let's put a little bit of that right here. Okay, so that's more sheer, so there's not a whole lot to this. You can see it's more sheer. So what I'm going to do then, where is my little brush? I should take this one. And take a little bit of that yellow. And I'm going to take a little bit of that Abilene and use that as a highlight because that has a bunch of these different colors in there. Ooh, gosh, that is pretty. That's so pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to go in. trying to decide if I'm going to use a real brush for that. Alright, so I am. I'm going to go in with Intense, um, which is this darker color. Uh, it might be a little bit darker than I'd like. And this is like a velvety consistency. Okay, so it's not really moving around, so that is definitely more than I wanted, but that's okay. I thought it would like diffuse a bit. There we go. Now it's doing it a little. So I kind of wanted it to diffuse into, or blend into this upper part a little bit more. Without having to put it directly up there. Usually their products blend a bit nicer than this, so maybe it's the color itself. That is pretty. I'm going to obviously work on that one a little bit, but yeah. make this side match. This 
It's just such a pretty blue though. I will say it looks a lot darker in the pan than it actually is, but I'll also say I put this on my hand when I swatched it um, in my BoxyCharm and Premium unboxing. And no joke, this was so hard to get off my arm. There it is, that's what I wanted. And then I'm gonna go back over just to blend them nicer. This is so pretty. I'm not sure if I necessarily like the pink that I did over top, but now I'm gonna just take a little bit of that pink and just kind of buff it a bit. Oof. That is pretty. Okay, so then I'm going to line it. I'm going to put a little bit of that darker taupey color. Or taupe. No, nope, that was the other one, right? Intense. take some of Dakota and kind of buff that. I don't necessarily like that, but it's okay. Because it's kind of just staying there like it did up top. It's not really like blending into the color. Eh. So then let's work on that, right? We can make it work. Let's do all the colors. Okay, so this one's really not laying down. It's too glittery. This is turning into a hot mess. That's okay. Whatever. It is what it is. That's okay. These are very, very, very pretty colors. So overall, I used this color and this color. And then we use this one, this one, this one, this one. Go over all the names, but I don't feel like it, so we're not. Um, let's get into the mascara. We'll do lips. This is the Dragon. What was it? Dragon Lash. Oh, 
stinks. I'm getting length, I'm not necessarily getting volume from it. But I'm also not sure if this is a lengthening or a volumizing. I mean, it's not bad. It's pretty nice. I don't like that it has some weird smell, like a chemical kind of smell. Maybe the underneath won't look so bad when I put this on. My kids are asking if they can play in my husband's office while he's on the phone. He has literally, this poor man, like I'm very, very thankful he has a job that supports me being able to be a stay-at-home mom because the price of childcare for three children, OMG, okay. Um, I think out here it's like $300 a kid a week and babies are more. And we'd be looking at like a thousand dollars a week in childcare. That to me is absurd. So I'm very thankful for the fact that due to his job, I'm able to stay home with them. But like this was his off Friday. He ended up having to work because every other Friday he gets off because he works 10 hour days, technically, even though he always works more than that. And, um, what was it? Oh, so he ended up working his off Friday. He knew he had to work Saturday night. He had to go in at 6 this one side's clumping just a little bit. He had to go in at six. He thought he'd be done by midnight, maybe a little bit later. Cause they were working on an, like some thing that he can't, t I don't know, he can't tell me. He works for like, he works in IT and I can't know everything he does. Um, so he had to do this stuff. And he, um, this is bothering me. But he had to do this stuff. And, um, he ended up working until almost 11 a.m. on Sunday, straight through. And... Finally, he went to take a nap, and I thought he was, like, done working. And he gets up at 2.30, came downstairs, played with the kids for, like, say, until 4. Played, between playing with the kids and eating. Oh, my gosh, this is gross. Um... And then he went back to work. And he worked until 4 a.m. Monday morning. And I got up with the kids. He slept in. He slept until 9.30. So he got from, say, 4.30 to 9.30 by the time he was able to, like, you know, get upstairs to go to bed. And then he's back to work in a meeting at 10 a.m. today. And he's like, I'm just exhausted. 
And you can tell the kids, like, want him home because they're, like, I mean, he works from home, but they want him, like, to play with them and things like that. This is, okay. This eye turned out good. This eye looks disgusting. Like spider lash central, gross. Okay, so I don't know, I'll give this mascara another try because I do like this side, but I don't like this side. But we'll see. But yeah, it's been fun. I am sweating my butt off. I do have the fan going, but I probably should have turned it up higher. It is ridiculously hot here. Um, and I'm showing it. So I am going to wear the gloss. This is from Jeffree Star. This is in pretzel dip. Yes, pretzel dip. This is the one I already had opened. Um, the other one is in this month's giveaway. The end of the month is almost here. So if you want in that giveaway, share my video, like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment, let me know you did those things. Um, if it's part of my YouTube channel, stay subscribed. Um, cause if I notice that you unsubscribed after the drawing, then in the next one, if you do the same thing, you're not going to be in it. Okay. So this is, this lip is in the color Charlie. It's called kiss my, and it is Rowan. Yeah. Okay. Rowan. It's a liquid lip balm. We'll see how this works. Do I have lip liner out? It'd be really nice if I did. That may be a little too brown. All right, let's see if any of these will work. This one looks like it will if it's... Okay, so let's try this one. And this is Love Letter from St. Lux. It's not really. I watched some show or some movie on Netflix while my husband was working at night because I have like, this is silly. I have trouble sleeping when he's not like in bed. And, oh, the mascara is, ah, uh, that was a mistake. Okay. And I watched Thunder Force with, uh, Melissa McBride, right? I think that's, yeah. And it has Jason Bateman in it, and I'm a huge Jason Bateman fan, like, biggest crush. Um, but it was such, such a good movie. In the sense of, like, if you like Step Brothers or something that's, like, a stupid silly, then it was really good. Not Melissa McBride, Melissa McCarthy. I take the longest to do my lips, I swear, like longer than anything. And I'm weird because I'm like trying to also pick up while I do things because I have OCD and it bothers me if I don't. So let's see how this looks. It's minty. So is this just a bomb?
Guess I wasn't thinking. I was thinking it was a lip like an actual lip color. Okay, so I need to put a real lip color on. And I'll put this over it. Because otherwise I just have lip liner on. Um, but that feels... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It feels like a... What's it called? A lip plumper. It's very minty. It's like I can taste the mint. It's like I just chewed like some bubble gum or something okay so i need a real lip color on that where is one that i have not used or not used a whole lot i should say because i've used everything almost once what if my kids took it i was gonna go with my Lunar Beauty, because I haven't done a whole lot with that. And I'm thinking, my kids get into all my makeup. And it can be frustrating. that if I don't find it. What the heck? I wonder if they took it and put it in their own thing. I literally give them like so much makeup, but they still have to use mine. like to know where it, oh there it is okay this is what happens this is why you don't let your kids play with your makeup okay but I mean like how do you say no I know you just say no whatever right but I'm not good at that I say no when it matters like the things that aren't safe or whatever otherwise I suck at it all right so Sorry, this video has turned into a hot mess. All right, and this is in the color Zaya. Because I needed something that sort of matched uh, that lip liner I just used. And I wanted something creamy. I will say though, this does transfer. I really, really like it, but it does transfer. All right, so I already showed you what this looks like. I guess I'm not gonna do, ooh. I'm not gonna do that. I don't know why I have this in here, whatever. But I am gonna use the gloss because I did say I would do that. Am I gonna try to dab it? And then I try and flip it over. And then I'm gonna clean it. Cause I don't want all that color going in there. So that is that. I'm going to use a setting powder. But everything else I'm going to use, I already used in my videos. So I'm gonna let that be that for this. Um, 
so yeah i think these eyeshadow palettes are very very pretty i will say that this color right here which was intense is a little bit harder to work with it doesn't really want to budge but i think that's just because it's a blue color blue can be like that sometimes but these shimmers are super pretty this did not come off the way i thought it would i thought it would be like a darker kind of a purple in there but it's more of like a sheer color but it's still very 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 pretty makes a really nice highlight i'll probably actually use that as a highlight up here um but you can do so many pretty looks with these palettes i am extremely extremely happy to have gotten those in um my boxy charm that made just that that worth it in itself um i do have a side note so my husband got me for I think Valentine's Day these winky Lux little makeup bundle and I had never even heard of this brand so I do have want to get into that just a little bit so this is like a pH um, lip gloss and it's supposed to like change colors based off of your pH balance or something like that my husband said it doesn't it stays like the same color it does not last long it's not sticky but it's just like a basic lip gloss um, but this is where I was disappointed. This is this Winky Lux Matcha Balm. And it smells very, very nice. It smells chocolatey. It, um, literally, like, this is a full size. Let me show you what this looks like. This is a full size. Like, smaller than my pointer finger. That's it. Actually, got a little bit more. There, that's it. And it does last a while because I have used it quite a bit just to try and like see. My lips are actually drier using this by the time the day is through. Um, they peel with it. It's just, it's no good. I will say, this would actually be a good test to these. Let's give these a try. It's Winky Lux Matcha Blotting Sheets. So I haven't tried these. And then it came with a, like this white tea tinted moisturizer but it's in the color fair and that just doesn't work for me. So this is what these look like. I've been meaning to show these in a video, this whole thing. So I figured while I'm doing a makeup haul, I would just get into these. I'm just like, I'm really thankful my, or I'm really happy my husband did try. Ooh, this smells. Oof. but I don't know I mean maybe these work these don't seem to be pulling my makeup off which is nice but I don't know the other stuff is a no so if you were thinking about trying that I mean you're welcome to but I wouldn't waste my money Okay, so yeah, that was my last little tidbit on that. The mascara, eh, not a fan. Um, I did use my Luxie brushes, that's what these are. And then I mixed them with my Unique brushes because the Luxie one doesn't have like more of the flatter, firmer brushes that I would like for like just little, little details. But yeah, so that is this video. If you have any questions, any comments, or anything that you would like to see, any makeup looks, any makeup items, let me know. Please, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, um, like, subscribe, comment below, whatever fun things you have that you'd like to see or anything like that, and I'd be happy to try those out. All right, everyone have a great rest of your day. Bye.